Hey guys on the BPG13 and welcome back to my, uh, well, nostalgia. <laughs> welcome to nostalgia, I guess that you could say. Uh, this is Ford Motorsport 2. I have just tried to do this recording, but unfortunately El Gato didn't want to respond and didn't actually record. So I just spent the last half an hour pointlessly talking to a microphone and trying to record something. But it won't work, so... But you guys didn't really miss much. I was just trying to do a... Uh, uh, what they call uh, a career event. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is because there's no actual like race mode where you can just jump straight into a race. There's an exhibition mode which is like where the the laps are already set for you and you can do it. So like you, the laps are set for you and you have to do the race. If you win it, you unlock the next track and so on. There's only 15 races. Obviously, the game came out years ago. Um, but what we're, what we're going to do today is we're going to do. I think we'll do race seven's quite easy. It's only a three lap race, I don't see why not. We'll do that one. Uh, we're gonna be doing it in a, what car can we do it in? We're gonna do it in, if the game decides to load. Uh, for some reason it won't load that. We're gonna do it in, what car can we do it in? Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of weird get a lot of weird cars in my collection, I have to admit. Um and tell you what, let's do it in Right. Not a lot. Um Let's do it in a proper ra tell you what, let's do it in a proper racing car, so Oh, what can we go do it in? Um, let's do it in that. Why not? Yeah, we'll do it in that. Oops, three laps and uh, should be all right. Uh, I thought I will be putting some music probably in the background and it will be edited. Uh, this video, as I said in the last one, which you don't record. Nonetheless, um, I did ramble on a bit too much, so I guess this is okay to as a fresh start. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, <clears throat> the only thing I mentioned was that the F1 season is going to be different this year and that GT2 will be different, uh, obviously, uh, LMP1, I believe it is, or Le Mans, I don't know what it is, Le Mans something or other, really quick cars haven't really changed and stuff, so, but basically today what we're going to be doing, ignoring all that, we're going to be looking at this old classic race, racing game. It's not exactly classic because it wasn't brought out like 1997 like Golden Grey Rally 1 was, uh, which was a rallying game, obviously not a racing one, but still, nonetheless, uh, I think it's still nostalgia for me. I mean, I would play Forza Motorsport 1, but there's not a good chance that I, I don't want to use that game to display the old graphics and stuff. I will probably play it on a stream, maybe one day, if I do a stream, so... Anyway, let's get started, shall we? So we're going to be racing against the Viper and a few other cars, well, a bit of Bonnet Camp. I like it, Bonnet Camp. So by the looks of it, who's this? A Ferrari, Ferrari's a jungle. Oi! It's not very nice. Oi! And um, is that a Viper that just hit me? Was. I'm on your side, remember? <laughs> that Skyline's getting away. He is not getting away. He's not gonna get away. Not that easy. I actually want to show you a couple of things on this game, um, which will be quite interesting, I guess, to say. The first thing I would do want to find out, though, is for a 2007 game, the graphics do look really nice. Uh, 2007, 2006 game, I think, that this game came out. It might be 2007, I'll probably say something on the screen now. Uh, it's probably 2006. Our mines got stuck between 06 and 07, so I can only presume it's one of those two years that the game came out. These supers are bloody quick, aren't they? Good grief. Really fast. Either that or I'm just... Oh dear, you did that, you did that, you slowed down AI, uh, N Hattori. Ooh, we 
Good job I didn't do any damage to my car. Troll it. Ouch, I've dissed the front of the car. Oh well, no biggie. It'll buff out. <laughs> it probably will, it probably will buff out. Yeah, just get some silly bang on it and it'll come right out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably will. <laughs> Go past Arido on the inside. He made it quite easy for us then, didn't he? The AI don't put up much of a fight if you've got a mobile for car. To be fair, this car is not that powerful. It's not as powerful as the Arido guys super, so yeah, uh, what was I going to mention? So, the fact that, obviously, the Australian Grand Prix is coming up very, very shortly, so that'll be quite interesting to see. Um, and the fact that there's not going to be much happening, I would presume. There is going to be a few things coming on the channel, as I mentioned in the last uh, Elon McCray episode. There actually will be something coming up very soon, within the next two or three days, uh, after this releases. Um, and then there'll be another one next week. Uh, well, another video will be coming next week. So, yeah. So we've got this. Like I said, there's two more videos to come. Obviously, this there was actually three coming within. Uh, what I mentioned was that I probably didn't mention this, but there's actually three videos coming over. The and you go, why can't you make more videos than that though? You surely must have more than enough time. The thing is, I've got more than enough. I haven't got, sorry, I've not got enough time to be making videos and because college has always been, because college has been getting in my way lately and I, I, slacked, on, I, I slacked on uploads lately, there's something that I should mention that's worth pointing out is that despite what's going on with my college at the moment I've managed to actually get ahead of my work which means I'm able to relax and make videos for you guys of course I'm going to be completely shy from the acts to drain the life out of me uh, and make me into a boring sod but nonetheless it, that's what college does to me um, but nonetheless there is going to be a few things on the channel very shortly there's going to be uh, a change in looks um, Obviously, as you probably, if you've not already seen by now uh, on the channel, the channel is now known as Viper Racing. Um, I think my new profile picture should be up as well for you guys to see. So yeah, we got the uh, have, there'll be a few new changes coming. Obviously, the video videos won't be affected in any way, but you know uh, everything else will be different <laughs> about the channel is what I can say. Uh, but we managed to win that nice and easy, easy peasy. Uh, we will. I actually, I'm going to show you something now. Um, this is my pride and joy of a car. It'll be on a free run, so you'll know. Uh, so go to free run. Uh, my car. In a second, is that 2002 Nissan Tomica Skyline GTR R34. It is my pride and joy. And as you can see from the right hand side on this screen the right now, you are not your eyes are not deceiving you. This car has 934 horsepower, which is quite a lot. That's about 70 horsepower less than a Bugatti Veyron. So what take it on? Hmm, I don't know. Let's do uh, we'll have a test around, we'll, we'll go for a couple, we'll hit a few short circuits. Oh, I know. How about that one? <laughs> nah, I'm only messing. There's a lot of different, uh, let's have a look at the scoreboard for this, actually. Do I have, what, what my friends sat on this, I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Okay, so apologies for that delay. Uh, we had uh, the game crashed on me, surprisingly. Anyway, back to the job at hand, shall we? So that's my car, obviously you've seen it already. <laughs> um, let's just see what track can we go on. We'll take it around, I believe, what's it? Russell's Viper, Death Adder, Copperhead. Hmm. 
Oh no, it's reverse circuits, right. Uh, track can we take it round? There's quite a few tracks that you can take it round. Which is quite nice. Um, <clears throat> that being the worst. Um, so, we'll take it around... Uh, which one? Let's go, should we go around the Grand Prix circuit of Silverstone? I think we shall. No, I'm only kidding, we're not. Uh, we need we need something with long straights. We're going to attempt to do a lap around the Nürburgring. The Nürburgring is obviously quite a fast track, so... Make that... Make that lesson be learned. Um, it will be testing this car to the limits. We are going to be doing a lap. It'll be from a standing start next to the finish line for about 12 minutes, and then we'll stop. So, let's start, shall we? Sorry, doing the work for me, how nice. And off we go, we're away. Obviously, because we've already got speed, that's fine. We're up 200 miles an hour. Oh, already going wide. Flat out through these first few corners. Obviously, let's slow down for this one. Just before you guys are wondering, yes, this is the actual car that you just saw. It's not a horse ball, it's not another car. I didn't do a Photoshop trick where I made the car look like the Nissan. Uh, I didn't, yeah. One, I didn't do the Photoshop, I didn't do a Photoshop trick or anything. So it makes the car look like a Skyline. Sound like a Skyline, but isn't the Skyline. <laughs> I don't know how that would work, but yeah. And it's not the fact that it goes that quick makes you all think that it's a Skyline when actually it's something like a, a Beatty Veron or a Dodge Viper or something. <laughs> something that does 200. No, it is actually. The, been upgraded massively. I actually upgraded it, max upgrades and everything. Going up, I think this is the Humpback Bridge. Yep. Oi, 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 oi. There is a problem with the Nürburgring that I have. Now I do have it on the on our Oh dear, this is not good. What's <gasps> the barrier? Yikes! Ouch! Not damage the car in any way. How the hell? I mean, obviously we have damaged the car, but we've not damaged it on that aspect. The the uh, diagram on your right that you can see at the moment shows the tyre wear. Obviously, the tyres don't wear out as fast as they do on F2013, but that's a different matter. Um, the front bumper obviously will go yellow, then orange, then red. It's as simple as that. Uh, the engine as well, which is at the front. The suspension shocks also do the same. The steering, the gearbox uh, thing, uh, as well as the rear end of the car. All them all turn difficult, they can all turn red if you hit the car against the wall too hard. I will demonstrate after we finish the lap, unless I do it beforehand, not on purpose though, I accidentally go wide or go too fast and it's been my own fault. But yeah, it's, it's quite a nice track now again, the only, like I said, going back to what I was saying before I went off the track and we had that little like, like, Um. Oh, we might just do it again. It's every time I bring the fire factor, isn't it? Um, but basically, I've got the never going track on my R factor, and oh, we've gone off again. And we're off onto the grass. Um, yeah, every time you go off the track, by the way, you get that, that penalty goes up and up and up and up. Um, so you can't just do a lap without putting a car on it. Uh, so league races be one. <laughs> if, you, if anyone ever did a league race on this on this uh, game then yeah be warned about your lap times if you go around on Evergreen for a few laps. Um, speaking of which, like I said, going back to what I was saying before, uh, <laughs> before I, I keep throwing myself off, I shouldn't do, um, but simply put, I've got this track on R Factor and to get a clean lap round here is damn near impossible. I have tried many many times to do it, you know, to get an old car, say a 19... 40s, 1950s F1 car, and that, well, there is a mod for all this, believe it or um, not. If you look in the right spots, you can find mods for cars like 1980s, 1970s. 
Hell, I got really bored and I tried looking for one that me and uh, Peter and Chipman could use. Uh, so, I managed to find one, luckily, thanks to the internet. Uh, but, I believe there is a mod that you can get on R Factor, which is a 1940s or 1950s mod, which is basically the cars that are in that, that are in that mod, are ones from that, uh, Juan Manjo, Manjo, Manuel Fangio, uh, the guy who won, I believe it was four, is it four or is it five, four or five world t championships, um, but there was, there's his car, there's a load of, lots of sterling bosses in there somewhere, uh, and, you know, cat, <gasps> Right, I definitely think that wrecked something. How I've not... Right. The car, but not in, like, the engine sense. Yeah, I think we can wreck the car, but, like, take bits off it, which we already have done. But we can't... Uh, we can take bits off it, but we can't actually wreck the engine in the gearbox, like you can normally. Great, this car's slide, isn't it? Um, so that's quite interesting, but the thing is, is that one, I haven't got the mod for the 1950s mod, which I'm probably going to. And the other thing is, is that Nurburgring is a long track. The modelling on R Factor for me is going to be, it's going to be quite tricky. To get one lap done, it probably take me about 50 attempts, and 50 laps on Nurburgring takes about 5 hours. So... And one lap is around 10 minutes, as most of you guys know. It's about 10 minutes for a lap, so... If you, you know, if... A... Nervingring video... You'd be guaranteed that the car would probably be... Uh... Probably be... A 1950s Mercedes or something like that. Um... And the fact that it's, uh... Not, not just the fact that it's Mercedes, but... Also, uh, the fact that uh, the track has lots of bends and everything, and I, I have gone around the track a few times in five 2006 F1 cars, but it's impossible not to spin out on this track. Say in a car like what I'm in now, in the, the Skyline, that's fine because it's a four-wheel drive car. Obviously, I've had me off-track excursions as you've seen before, but still, you know it. It's, it's a nice track, I mean, if you go through it flat out, of course you're going to spin and, you know, you're going to go wide and you're going to hit a wall and all this stuff. I built a lap, which is quite remarkable. I do remember on uh, PGR4, I managed to do this a lap of an Evergreen in under seven and a half minutes, or eight minutes, I believe. And the start finish straight was actually a bit further up than what it is now. I think it's because they updated it between 2006 when this game came out, I think, and 2007, which was when PGR4 came out. The start line was. If the start line is about there, that's where the start line is, back there where those white lines were. Whereas the start line for this game is all the way down here. It's about halfway I think. So what's the lap? We've done a 1 at 7 57.5 so that's quite remarkable. But I think we reached what 218 there. It's quite remarkable to be honest. Stop. Blimey. You can post your best time to the scoreboards. That's what Forza does. It's still, the online still works, I believe. I've been online, but obviously not many people have this game anymore, so. And they probably won't want to go online with it anymore, so. But it would be nice if I could play with someone online. If you guys do have it and you do have a 36, then be sure to let me know. I'm not going to go into leaderboards again because it probably will crash the game, and I don't want that to happen. So, what I'm going to do is, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. <laughs> that's all we've got time for. Um, I'm, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to look at the, I mean, if you look at this skyline, it's a really nice car to look at. I mean, look. That disappears if you leave it. 
at that. And as soon as you stop, it comes back, which is quite cool. Um, but still, the car is really nice to look at, in my in my opinion. I guess that's been itself. I mean, the fact that it's got 900 horsepower, that just shows it's brilliant. It's fantastic, this car. Um, but that's it. Yeah, that's all we have time for today. Um, be sure, obviously, hit a like for this. Because, obviously, I know I haven't done a PPG13 plays thing in a while. Like, a long time. The last PGR4. Uh, or, what was it? No, it was either PGR4 or something else. I can't remember. But I've not done one in probably about eight months, six to eight months. So it's been quite a while since we did one. Uh, since I did one. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Obviously, this has been Forza Motorsport 2 and I've been the BPG13. Uh, if you're new around here, obviously, hit that subscribe button. I'm currently, at, I think, 241 subscribers. And I'm looking to hit 250 very soon. Um, because we're only nine subscribers off, so if anyone wants to subscribe, that would be much appreciated by myself. Um, and I, I do have a goal of reaching 350 by the end of the year, so the end of the year is nine months away. I'm quite confident that we could hit 300 by the end of the year, but 350 is my ulti is my ultimate goal for the end of the year properly. If we can hit 300 by the end of the year, I'll be happy. Uh, and if we over the moon so if we can if we target 300 first as a primary goal uh, as soon as we've hit 300 then 350 will be the end of the year goal afterwards if we hit 300 say in september or something like that but i'm hoping to hit 250 very shortly like i said if you're new around here and you've only just watching me for the first time then um yeah definitely that subscriber button it really the subscriber button subscribe button the big red button on, on your screen that you can see um, and uh, yeah, everything's much appreciated by me. And I think we hit 200 last year, and it's been a bit of a slow process going from 200 to 241 at the moment. But I think it's because of the lack of uploads, or I don't know, something else. But yeah, I'm really intrigued. If you guys have played this game before, uh, definitely be sure to comment down your thoughts on it. What do you remember? Anything? What do you, you know? What What do you remember most about this game? Do you remember? Remember what the bad things remember make sure you comment them down below i'm really intrigued to read about them because i love this game i personally love it to bits not as much as i love colin mccray rally series and the dirt series but i do love this game i played the uh, not dirt three um forza motorsport three and i didn't find it as good as this one and forza motorsport four was really nice like the graphics look nice but i think this was the one that really kicked things off obviously pgr better than this only because of the gameplay physics and the fact that there's night stages and everything but aside from that it's been it's uh time to go now